If you were trapped in a foxhole, what person would you most like to have in there with you to help you get out? Gus Johnson. How come? Because Gus is knocking guys out back in, on the street corner <laughs> in, in, in Baltimore. I knew it. And, and he beat up the whole Seattle team. So I know what I know what I and we get with Gus. He never picked up a weight. He looked like um, a Greek guy. Uh, Gus was an all-star. He's a tremendous ball player. I think as far as that defense is concerned and that rebound, and Gus is a tremendous rebound. He's averaging like 15 rebounds a game. And within the playoff situation, you would say he would probably average 18 because he'll be a little uh, better and because he'd be mentally up for the playoffs and psychologically more so than he would in a regular season game. And off their offense too because he's a tremendous offensive ball player. When he gets the ball in a position you can't stop. The game started at 8 in the evening. They would pack lunches at 12 to get a seat in the gym to watch him play at 8 o'clock at night. He was so awesome. He did some amazing things. Gus Johnson, all-star with the Baltimore Bullets. Big likable guy out of Akron, Ohio, Gus Johnson. Gus, you led the league one year in broken backboard. <laughs> They actually had to pass a rule against you, didn't they? Yes, they did, but you had to have an uh, extra backboard in the gym at all times. Johnson is out of there. No, he's hit up by the rim. Sweeps down the defensive rebound. Ooh. Johnson. Oh, he did a pretty good player. No, Gus was better than that. He was a great player. He, he was uh, unbelievable. Uh, long before his time, he was uh, the LeBron of, the, of, the, of our day. And Gus Johnson, a very strong, omnipotent player. Uh, gave us a lot of problems back in the day. Johnson a rebound, and Johnson throws it around the shoulders. I thought I'd seen everything. That's the we were talking about earlier, Ted. A look at a sensational bounce pass. Gus Johnson. Johnson. Oh! A rebound by Gus Johnson. And Joe Caldwell. Johnson wins out. with the rebound, lead pass. That's Gus Johnson. <laughs> Gus Johnson defensively, quickly to Dave Bing. Notice Gus come charging down the middle. He times himself perfectly and dunks it. Gus Johnson at 6'7", 235 pounds. This man. Oh, what a move! Yes, that counts. Johnson. There's this guy could jump out the gym, I remember. What his slogans was, he said, I tell my legs how high, and they go higher. I mean, he, he could fly. He was air before air was air. And he could fly, and he'd come down and throw that ball down on anybody. He goes off to Robertson and the wild center. Johnson knocks it away. And there goes Gus. Quick straight point. When you think about great forwards, Gus Johnson has to be probably the greatest defensive forward to ever play the game. He went out and played the guards, he played the center, he played the other forward. Johnson 25 in the center. He's the Gilmore, and he is rejected. And coaches again, Johnson. But Gus Johnson in that front line, that's about as muscular a front line as you'll find in the NBA. And it makes things even rougher to get that ball off the board. Wait, what's this flop? He leaps and he gets it, and not only that, but he maintains his balance and goes after it. He understood how to play in that six, six and a half, maybe six, seven. He could play against much, much bigger people. They didn't get one inch. The Gilmore. All Gene's trying to do with that strategy is get Gus to pull Alcindor out. The six, seven, a pretty strong uh, basketball player. He never picked up a weight. He looked like uh, a Greek guy. He just commanded a presence. Six foot six, 235 pounds of muscle. First guy to tear down a basket in the NBA. That was the type of power that he brought to the game. That's Johnson. It's three on one, and Gus Johnson puts it away in great style. Gus Johnson, there we saw it, just sheer strength. I shuddered every time I had to go up against Gus Johnson. He's about the strongest forward in the NBA. If you had taken Gus Johnson and put him in a time machine and put him into a world that had ESPN and highlights and NBA TV and all this other stuff, wouldn't, wouldn't... I thought it was a terrific play. He and Wes Johnson were two of the best rebounders I've ever seen together. I'm telling you, they could go get it, man. Watch him rebound under the boards, number 25. And on the rebound. Gus Johnson. Joe Caldwell trying to put one in for the West, and Gus Johnson of Baltimore rebounds to Walker. Look at the pass break. Killer a three. Count the ball with both hands. Uh, really, he was a great player. Now Havlicek joins with Gus Johnson of Baltimore to set himself up with a drive. Can you give me an example 
of a guy I don't know how good he was that played in your day but played for uh, you know, a team in the low market. You take a guy like Gus Johnson. One of the best-liked players on the Baltimore team suffers a painful torn ligament in his ankle. It sidelines Gus for nearly half the season. The hurt to Gus is also a serious hurt to Baltimore's hopes. Gus Johnson. Gus Johnson to Jimmy Walker. Johnson and Brown team up for two. Carter. This rebound Baylor shot. And there's Gus Johnson. Good pass to Greer. Watch him in this Baltimore fast break, moving down on the far side. And even though he played only 38 games, he was good enough to earn all league recognition. The very tired Gus Johnson. In pain, exhausted from 18 playoff games on two bad knees, and there he gets a rest. Al Sender in the rebound to Gus Johnson of Idaho. It's on the clock, and the fans who are stuck by Gus working one-on-one -on -one against Rudy LaRusso. What a man, that's Gus Johnson. Gus Johnson, the hottest man right now. Johnson. Gus Johnson. A uh, high school teammate of Nate Thurman. University of Idaho. Gus Johnson. Got about 6'7 and a real fine, strong jumper. For some final razzmatazz by Gus. We show you a freak shot that he got off his bandaged wrist. Watch Johnson under the basket. A slap of the wrist and the ball arches in. Great, Gus. <laughs>